x to the 4 plus x cubed plus x equal to 1 and we want to find all values of x. Okay, let's take all things to one side. x to the 4 plus x cubed plus x minus 1 equal to 0. So one way is to check small examples. For example, 0, 1, negative 1. And we will see that they won't be 0. You can check 2, negative 2. Another way is to rearrange this number. If we consider these two numbers and factor from x cubed, we have x plus 1, but here we have x minus 1, so it's not useful. If we consider x to the 4 plus x, then I have x cubed plus 1, again not useful. If I consider x to the 4 minus 1 and x cubed plus x, then I have here x squared plus 1 and on, uh -huh, yes. It is useful. So let's re let's rearrange x to the 4 minus 1 plus x cubed plus x equal to 0. Now, let's factorize at first. Let me tell you a famous identity you should memorize. a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. So here, x to the 4 minus 1 minus, we can say minus 1 squared. So it will be x squared minus 1, x squared plus 1. Why we can say this? Because x to the 4 minus 1 equal to x squared squared minus 1 squared. Why we can say x squared squared? By power rule, a to the m to the n equal to a to the m n. And then here, here we can use the identity and we reach this. Now this part, I factor from x. It will be x x squared plus 1 equal to 0. In next step, we factor from x squared plus 1. And it will be x squared minus 1 plus x equal to 0. So, we have two parts. The first part equal to 0 or second part equal to 0. If first part equal to 0, let's check. First part equal to zero or second part equal to zero? It's first case, it's second case. In first case, x squared plus one equal to zero. In real numbers, we don't have any answer, but let's check also in complex numbers. In complex numbers, i equal to root negative one, so x squared is negative one, so we can conclude x equal to plus minus square root of negative one. By definition of i that equal to root negative 1, it will be plus minus i. So in first case, we don't have any answer in real numbers, but in complex numbers, we have plus minus i. Let's check second case. x squared minus 1 plus x, I can write plus x minus 1, I rearrange, equal to 0. For solving this part, you should know quadratic formula. Let me write quadratic formula for solving this part. By using quadratic formula, if we have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So here, a is 1, b is 1, and c is negative 1. And x equal to negative b, negative 1 plus minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1, all over 2a, 2 times 1. So negative 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 minus 1 will be 1 plus 4, root 5, all over 2. So here we found two answers in real numbers, this part two answers in complex numbers. So for this problem, we found four answers in complex numbers and two answers in real numbers. These are our two answers. Let me write a homework for you to solve. If you want to learn other ideas, rearranging, finding the root, important ideas for solving, 
algebraic problem and also other ideas in geometry number theory and combinatorics feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description and comments the next problem we want to solve is x to the 4 plus x cubed plus x squared plus 1 equal to 0 try to find all answers in real numbers and all answers in complex numbers and if you have questions send message to my whatsapp number and please don't forget to subscribe turn on notification and like the video thanks see you next time have a good day bye